And cue cool new intro! Yeah, that's right, even this show has a funky new look. Greetings superhumans and welcome to the Alter Ego video blog, the videos where I comment on the comments you leave on other videos because life just isn't confusing enough. Now there are a couple of things that I want to go over quickly before we get to the comments. If you don't like me and just like hearing me read your comments out on a video then skip forward like four minutes or something. First off, along with the new look of the show and the YouTube channel and my Twitter account and my Facebook page, uh, I've also done a big overhaul on my website because I haven't really updated it in about six months, I think. So head over to empathdigital.com right now and you can check out the new look of the site. Uh, basically all I've been doing there at the moment is just posting every episode as it comes out, but I'm going to be using it more in the future. Part of that is I'm going to be writing more blog entries. Uh, I realise that if you go over to empathdigital.com right now and click on the blog thing, there's like two entries uh, and one from about two years ago. So uh, I will be updating that more often uh, with just stuff about my life or uh, stuff about superheroes because that's pretty much all I know. I'm also going to be implementing something that I call the five facts. Uh, basically on every episode of So You're a Superhero that I post to the website, I will be putting along with it five facts about that video. Now that could be stuff about the production or the writing of the video, or it could even just be more information about the superpower that I couldn't fit into the video. So it's not mandatory by any means, but if you want to find out a little bit more about the video process or the superpowers that I'm talking about, then you can head over to empathdigital.com. Uh, I'll be putting up the post pretty much as soon as the videos go out on Wednesday. So it's just another place you can look at the videos. Thing number two. In the coming months, I'm going to be trying to migrate as much of the commenting function from YouTube over to other places as I can. Basically, part of that is because I don't really like the way that Google Plus and YouTube comments are integrated, and I find it very difficult sometimes to uh, respond to comments if they're linked comments. Sometimes it just doesn't work for me, and I do like to reply to as many like questions and stuff in the comment section as I can, and I can't really do that at the moment. Basically, I'm going to be putting a bit more emphasis into getting comments on Facebook and Twitter rather than YouTube, so uh, if you want to keep commenting at me, then uh, I would advise going and following one of those accounts. You can go to facebook.com slash empathdigital to like my page on Facebook, or you can go to at empathdigital on Twitter and follow me there, tweet at me, I'll respond, we'll have nonsense all the time. Along with that, I will be trying to post more stuff on my Facebook page. At the moment, it seems to just be completely bogged down with just posts about the videos that have gone up. I'm going to start posting other things as well to make it a slightly more interesting place to hang out, much in the way that I already do on Twitter. So go and follow me on Twitter at Empath Digital if you don't already. And I understand that a lot of people don't particularly like using Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. If you're one of those people, then you can comment uh, on the posts on the website. So empathdigital.com, you can go there. Any video that I post, I will leave the comments open. You can comment and I will pick up your comments and use them in the Alter Ego video blogs. Basically all of these things are part of a larger plan to improve my YouTube channel and make it more successful than it is now. Basically all I want to do is create cool content for you and I've got lots of ideas about things that I want to do in the future but none of them are really viable in the long term with the relatively low numbers of subscribers and views and things that I have at the moment. Now most of the responsibility for improving those numbers is on me. I have to go and promote the channel a little bit more. I've kind of been half arsing it up until now, so uh, I want to try and whole arse it and actually put a bit more effort into promoting the channel and try and make it a bit more successful on my end. But you guys can help with that as well. If you've got friends out there who would enjoy my content, then share the crap out of everything that I do. Uh, it'll only help me to be able to create more stuff for you guys to enjoy. But don't worry, none of this means that I'm going to stop making videos anytime soon. Uh, it's just that if I want to keep doing this for the next several years, and I really kind of do because I enjoy it, uh, then I'm just going to have to try and boost the channel a little bit. 
But let's move away from the negative vibes that I was putting out there with a quick reminder that I'm still taking requests for the So You're a Superhero viewer mail edition coming up in the next couple of months. If there's a superpower that you particularly want me to cover that I haven't covered already, leave a comment in the comment section of the previous Alter Ego video blog which you can find linked here and I'll pick my top 5 favourite superpowers to cover in the So You're a Superhero viewer mail edition coming in about May time I think. And with all of that bollocks out of the way, let's get on to your comments. Going back to the second anniversary special, episode 105, Omnikinesis, uh, Rihanna Richards says, Got to hate it when an evil version of yourself tries to destroy the multiverse. Don't feel too bad about it, Phil. It seems to happen to every superhero at one point or another. Yeah, it's a complete pain in the arse. I mean, me and Thor and Captain America and Green Lantern, we're always talking about that at the meetings that we definitely don't have. Also on episode 105, DC and anime, King for the win, bad username by the way, don't shoot the messenger but I'm just saying, says, BTW, a power that is even stronger than Omnikinesis, is complete arsenal. I think you'll find that you're a complete arsenal. I know that was childish but Come on, you rack them up, I have to knock them down. Moving on to episode 105B, A Shadow Falls. James Moore says, Empath Digital has 13 letters in it. 13 has 8 letters in it. 8 minus 13 is 5. I think you got your maths wrong. 5 doubled is 10. 13 has a 3. 10 minus 13 is 3. Illuminati confirmed. Hashtag Illuminati confirmed. Hashtag Half-Life 3 confirmed. Hashtag Shake Dat Ass. Hang on a second. Your comment has eight lines in it. Your name has ten letters in it. Eight times ten is eighty. Divided by six is... Oh my god! You know what this means? It's confirmed! You're an idiot! This week's Alter Ego video blog is brought to you by Extreme Snark. Moving on to episode 106, Psionic Inundation, where Natorix says... I would make a man lose his memory, then make him kill and eat his family, and then bring his memory back so he can wallow in his misery, until I let wild dogs and cats eat him. I don't really know what I was expecting from that particular superpower, but it's just, just horrible really, isn't it? I mean, seriously, Natorix, I think you need to have a long, hard look at your life and just, just go to prison. Also on this episode, Colour Day says, I would make people use their nails to rip out their own throats. But, on a positive note, new set looks good. Oh, thank God, that's all that I cared about. As long as my new set looks good, I don't care about people ripping out their own throats. On to episode 107, Adoptive Muscle Memory. Scribble says, move aside, Jackie Chan. There's a new sheriff in town. Since when was Jackie Chan a sheriff? Hang on. Shanghai Noon! Yes. Also on this episode, DC and Anime King for the win. Really bad username, dude. I mean, come on, you're better than that. Says, I would watch all Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, superhero and porn to become so physically enhanced that I would be able to destroy the world with a single roundhouse kick. Now, I'm no expert, but I think if you're watching porn where people are just roundhouse kicking each other, you're doing porn wrong. Moving on to episode 108, The Soul Gem, and yes, I know I posted it as the mind gem when it first went up, but, you know, 140 videos with a single mistake? Fuck you guys. Anyway, on this episode, the ever-rational Wolfsbane X says, hmm, on one hand, The Soul Gem could be used for interrogation without the need of violence. On the other hand, it may corrupt my soul. I don't think the benefits outweigh the costs, personally. It's always nice to have a sane person a little island of sanity in the raging sea of maniacs that comprises my community of viewers. So thank you, X, for everything you do. But then on the flip side, Natorix says, one word, my friend, blackmail. Nice try, Natorix, but you didn't think it through. In order to blackmail people, you need physical evidence of them doing bad things. The Soul Gem doesn't give you that, it just gives you access to their innermost thoughts and feelings. And I don't know a lot about blackmail, but I'm pretty sure saying, no, definitely the president is honestly sleeping with a hooker, I've seen it in my mind, will earn you a one-way trip to the insane asylum. So thank you, as always, for all your just 
completely insane comments. Don't forget to keep leaving them on Facebook and Twitter and my website as well as the comment sections. And leave your requests for the So You're a Superhero viewer mail edition in the comment section of the previous Alter Ego video blog. And as always, stay super! Thank you for watching! You can click over there to watch last week's episode of So You're a Superhero or the most recent Alter Ego video blog, and you can click down there to subscribe to Empath Digital for brand new content every single week.